This is Honors Algebra 2 Precalculus. We're doing homework review in section 10.2 of Precalc, number 19 on page 772. This is an architecture word problem, so I'm just going to read it to you rather than writing the entire paragraph. A parabolic archway is 12 meters uh, high at the vertex, so there's 12 meters high. Um, at a height of 10 meters, the width of the archway is 8 meters, meaning it's 4 on this side and 4 on this side, right? Uh, the question says, how wide is the archway at ground level? So how wide is the archway here? So the honest answer here is that the easiest thing, in my opinion, and there's probably other ways to do this, but the easiest thing, in my opinion, um, is to essentially use these three points to find the equation for this parabola. Uh, and then once I know the equation for this parabola, uh, then I can find the zeros because that's really what these are. These are the roots or the zeros, right? So I know that this parabola, there's a couple things that I know about this parabola, right? I know that this parabola has its vertex, right, at the very top. I know that the vertex is 0, 12, right? So essentially I know y equals a x minus 0 quantity squared uh, plus 12, right? So essentially, I know that the equation of this thing is y equals ax squared plus 12. I can then use the 4 comma 10, or the negative 4 comma 10, I don't care which, to find a, right? So 10 equals a times 16 plus a 12, right? Uh, so if I subtract the 12 over, negative 2 equals a times 16. So negative 1 eighth is my a, right? Uh, so essentially, I end up with an equation that is y equals negative 1 8th x squared uh, plus a 12. Well, I want the roots of this function, right? Because if I find the x coordinate, let's just call this, uh, so let's just go ahead and call this r for root. So this is r comma 0, right? And then this side is negative r comma 0, right? Because it's symmetric around this axis. So essentially, the, the width I'm looking for is 2r. So if I can just find the root of this thing, I can find the length or uh, this width, essentially, of the arch at ground level. So I'm going to go ahead and find those roots by saying, hey, roots are when y equals 0. So 0 equals negative 1 8th x squared plus 12 right? I'll subtract the 12 over and then times by the negative 8, right? Uh, and so I end up getting a 96 equals x squared, right? Uh, so x is essentially plus or minus the square root of 96, right? But for my purposes, the easiest thing to say is that that means that this side is a root 96 and this side is also a root 96. So the, the width of this arch is essentially a root 96 plus another root 96, which, if I'm feeling pretty lazy, I might leave as 2 root 96. You could definitely simplify this if you want. Uh, you know, certainly that there are numbers that you can take out of this. So you could take a, a 16 out of this, right? Because um, that should be a 16 times 6, if that's my brain doing something right. Right, so if you really wanted, you could take, uh, you could make this a 16 times a 6. So you could take a 4 out, and you could make this 8 root 6. But I'm not really sure that why that would be useful. Uh, because it is a word problem, and most of the time we answer word problems with a uh, decimal, I would argue that this is a great answer. So, so I would argue that, technically speaking, the best answer I've got is either 2 root 96 uh, meters or 8 root 6 meters. But I could see the argument that in a practical application, it would make more sense to find the width is as a decimal. So 2 root 96. Uh, and I'm just going to double check that my math is right and make sure that 8 root 6 is the same answer. Yep, either way, we get 19.595 or 596 meters apart. So 19, so, so these are both exact answers. An approximate answer would be 19.596 meters, which is also right. Or you could say 5 if you truncated instead of rounded, right? Uh, and that's the basic deal.